soul family what's going on this is the phoenix cloud tarot thank you so much for joining me my name is isa i'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader and today i'm doing the darn thing for cancer sun moon rising sun moon rising venus and the cross watcher okay may 15th through the 30th sorry guys i am energetically going through something i don't know quite what it is but i've been like this for a couple of days so either i'm getting sick or this retrograde and saturn uh saturn retrograding is starting to get to me anyway uh thank you for joining me if you're new here welcome to the tarot dome if you're not welcome back to the tarot dome it's good to see you family uh, thank you so much for your like, support, subscribes, all of that great stuff. I truly, truly do appreciate it, guys. Believe me. Um, we are going to be doing the reading for Cancer. Guys, please keep in mind that this energy is very general, okay? What that means is it's not specific to anybody. I'm really just reading whatever energy I get, whatever messages I get, whatever the cards bring up, okay? So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Uh, uh, if nothing resonates at all, check your moon rising Venus. And if that doesn't tickle your fancy, then definitely check another reader because I just may not be your person this time around. And that's perfectly fine. That's the way it goes. Sometimes we know that as readers. Okay. Anything you need to know about me, like the Reiki music I'm playing in the background, uh, the cards I use following me, Facebook, Instagram, any of that good stuff, you can find that in the description box down below. Okay, let's get rolling, Cancer. So I always do a pre-shuffle and three cards came out for you guys. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead, I'm using a brand new Oracle deck. This is the um, Energy Oracle deck by Sandra Ann Taylor. I really, really like this deck a lot, but I'm gonna go ahead and read the meanings because I am still learning these. And at the same time, uh, there's some I know, so I'll just share what I know, but, um, you know, I feel like you can get an in-depth meaning of these if I read them to you also. Okay. Um, so I want to say before we get started, if you like this video, go ahead and like it. And if you really like it, then go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Okay. Like while you're watching the video. All right, so we have here the woman holding the heart. Now, double numbers for me is about mastery. Okay, um, it's about a life change. It's about a lesson, okay? Um, it's about mastering something in your life. So this woman holding a heart says, the woman on this card wears a butterfly in her hair and holds a lovely large heart in her hands. For a woman, this card upright could be a reflection of your own state of peaceful emotion going to show it to you. Peaceful emotion and receptivity for love, or it might be a message that your family issues are going to resolve. You are an intuitive woman who understands the emotions of life and you're bringing that awareness to all that you do. This card upright could also indicate the presence of a female friend, teacher, or confidant who's here to help you with issues of love, family, or emotion. This is an even-tempered and caring person who resonates with you and your emotions. This could also portend a new love interest or friend coming your way. Okay, Although it's a female, uh, there's a lot of female energy here. Uh, I also want to say, guys, take it as it resonates for you too. Okay, I have not forgotten my men. I feel you. Feel your brothers and sisters, okay? But this is a, a, a master number, okay? 44. There's something around your heart, your own state of peaceful emotion. The second card we have here is the garden and the gate. Not an obvious one for me, so let's go ahead and read this. See here? The garden and the gate. This card shows a peaceful young woman in a beautiful, beautifully blossoming garden with colorful flowers all around. However, the gate to the road outside the garden is locked while the girl wears a key on the chain around her neck. This card upright bodes well for the financial scene. In fact, there may be a lot of money or other personal pleasures coming your way at this time. 
but be aware the choice to stay in the seeming security of this lovely garden may actually be motivated by habit or a fear of the unknown so basically it's saying great things are coming your way be open to it okay so if you're not if you're not open if you're in fear if you, you know things changing like you might miss it okay uh, the beauty is enticing and worth enjoying, but you may not be giving your spirit the freedom to roam when it's, uh, excuse me, while it's fine to amass a great deal of wealth, don't let it keep you from your karmic path or from living your truth. You have the choice to shift your focus, widen your spiritual perspective and gain the world that is just outside of your gate. Yeah. So it's basically saying, listen, don't limit yourself. If you're going to, um, you know allow things to come into your life you got to take the key off your neck and open it let it happen step out into it uh, allow it to come in okay so some of you could be stuck in that kind of gated mental state and then we have the 27 this is walking away okay so this uh, really is representative of walking away of um, old situations old patterns old habits uh, people um, walking away from repeating yourself, uh, people and things that have been done and over with, right? Not hanging on to stuff. It's about opening the gate and setting yourself free in a sense here, okay? So you could be walking away from a partnership. You could be walking away from a love interest. You could be walking away from whatever you feel like doesn't serve you. Uh, but like I said before, excuse me, this is also about walking away from certain patterns okay um and it's interesting that this card comes up because uh something that's come up in my space over and over again is knowing when enough is enough and and uh walking away like when you've received your healing when things have happened for you knowing that that is enough and being able to move forward that's what walking away is it's actually taking steps forward okay so somebody here could have some blocks in that moving forward energy all right scared to move forward all right open the gate set yourself free cancel okay so let's go ahead here guys and see what kind of energy we have coming through for cancer sun moon rising venus in the cross culture uh may 15th through the 30th what does cancer need to know for cancer highest good what are the messages of love healing and truth you have here for cancer please <clears throat> really starting out with the magician again that's interesting Okay. <laughs> All right, spirit. I'm going to do my best to interpret this one. This look like a mess. So I ain't even going to lie. Cancer, what? And I keep getting these extra cards. Like, I have a hangman here. Okay, so I have like three, four major arcanas out. This is the big something. This is a big to do. All right. Let's get an overall energy of this reading for Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. What's the overall energy for Cancer regarding this spread? <clears throat> Oof. What's going on here? Five of Cups? We worried about the crying over some spilled milk? Is somebody regretting a choice that they made? Are they feeling bad about something? You still got two cups. Don't forget, you still have two cups behind you. Okay. Now, what I want to know is who was tricking you? Who was tricking you, Cancer? Who the hell was playing the games here? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. All right. Um... It's almost like somebody tricked you and stole something, okay? Like they were getting away with something here uh, with the magician. Um, and the reason I say that is because these two cards next to each other, it's like there's no like positive energy behind this magician. 
Um, and then we have judgment. So it's, I feel almost like this, where this is usually like a rebirth. This is like trying to let go of something that somebody did. Okay. This feels like, um, you might have really, really judged this person. Um, I probably would too. Not gonna lie. If you came looking like you the stuffs. All right. But you turned out to be faking the funk. All right. Lying about stuff. And just being a damn sneak behind my back, not my circus, not my monkeys, uh, I might judge your ass too. Just saying. Uh, <laughs> kidding. I'm really, I'm, you know, I can be judgy for about five seconds, but, um, you know, this is like, I almost feel like somebody really wanted bad karma for somebody else, and you feel bad about that because somebody did something to you, okay? Uh, but like I said, letting go of something that somebody did to you. Okay. We then have the sun. So it's like letting that go just brings you happiness, fulfillment, the burden's gone. You're walking away. You're like carrying this stuff off. Like I don't need it anymore. I'm looking for pure love, pure happiness. I'm good. Okay. But then there's this hangman energy. So seeing things from a different perspective. Okay, so overall, that's what I'm feeling. You might feel some regret. Okay, so maybe you're the person who did this cancer. You might have pretended like you wanted to be with somebody, but you were just trying to get that booty and go. Okay, uh, or, you know, maybe you took advantage of somebody and you feel really bad about that. Or somebody took advantage of you and they feel really bad about that. They may want forgiveness. They may want to apologize. Or maybe you want to do that because... You know, at the end of the day, they don't wish you well. I mean, um, they don't wish you harm. They they wish you well. They want to uh, move away from this and create peace and happiness, okay? That's what I'm picking up now. Somebody has some regrets over something that happened, okay? Spirit, please clarify the magician, please. Ooh, Cancer, I'm so grateful for you guys. I feel like I'm coming to life a little bit again. Yeah, so um, somebody could have been acting like they were all about you, but they might have been doing something, like I said, with somebody else, okay? Like breadcrumbing you. That's a term. That's a real term. Look it up. Giving you just the right amount to keep you hanging around um, while they just play games with you, okay? Six of Pentacles, um, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy, okay? So maybe playing the field, giving to you and somebody else. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Please clarify the Seven of Swords and what this is about. The Cancer. Please clarify this trickery. Mm. So, yeah, like I said, somebody playing games here, lying, going back and forth, uh, you know, juggling. Somebody juggling you and somebody else. That's very, very clear here with the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. Somebody juggling. They might have even been juggling lies, honey. Like, they, you probably caught them in <laughs> several lies. Because, look, if you juggling booty like that, like... <laughs> You got to come up with a bunch of lies and you can't always remember them. You know? <laughs> not that I've, no, I have not done that. Never. I've never, there was this one time and I was like 18. <laughs> I think that's what you do at 18. You're like, I like you and I like you and I like you. <laughs> All right. Scare, why is judgment here? Please clarify judgment. But now it's like I'm 45, dude. Hey, nobody got time for that. And if you 40 something and doing this bold doo doo, man, let me tell you what. No, stop it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I think somebody wants to, they want to apologize. They want to heal. I think somebody wants to heal this. Okay. This could uh, be with the judgment. It could be the resurrection, rebirth, that kind of stuff. Um, I, I think somebody. Either they want to try to get back together with you, which I would say, no, um, <laughs> or uh, this person really wants to heal the situation. They want to apologize, like outpouring the heart, okay? Somebody wants to make it better, all right? Um, 
why is the sun here? Please clarify the sun. And this could be, this is recent past, so they may have tried to reach out to try to apologize. The sun is here because you independent, you doing it all. I'm just kidding. Um, the sun is here because of the queen of pentacles. So taking care of home, taking care of you, settling down, being committed. Um, and in this kind of situation where, you know, you might even have some question if something's do, if somebody's doing something behind your back, I would definitely say yes. Okay. Um, and maybe you're just discovering this. Um, and they keep on baby, 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 come back. Let's talk about it. Okay. You're up to chasing your own happiness at this point. This energy coming forward is you being okay. Uh, being single, being by yourself and not dating right now, just finding your happiness. Okay. Just finding your happiness. Why is the 10 of wands here? Clarify the 10 of wands for me. And it's, you know, happiness, fulfillment, joy, being financially secure, being stable. Um, the moon. I feel very much, because the moon could be secrets, illusions. There's some, there could be some secret that somebody's carrying here. There could be some secret that somebody has here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Somebody could be carrying something here. Um, holding on to some sort of secret that they're not talking about. But I also feel that this is somebody um, intuitively knowing it's time to walk away. The 10 represents endings and new beginnings. It's somebody walking away, knowing that they need to like, uh, it could be that somebody hasn't revealed what they've been doing. Okay. Um, there's just been a lot of apologies and restart and let's do this. So let's try one more time. And, um, the, somebody here is up to their own happiness. That's going to take them, um, illuminating using their uh, intuition their their you know they know subconsciously that there's something's not right here there's still something going on here and they know they need to get away from this whoever that is okay uh why is the ace of cups here please why is the ace of cups here okay um celebrating I almost feel like this is like moving on. Somebody makes a choice to move on and they're happy. They're happy. They're here, can, uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. This is you in your energy feeling happy that you've moved on. It's like releasing a burden, okay? You know you need to let the burden go. It's not easy, but you're ready and you're willing because you know that this is ahead for you. This happiness, joy, contentment, fulfillment, um, you know, a celebration, being with your friends or your family, that kind of energy, okay? Uh, somebody could have a drinking problem here too. Anytime I get a bunch of cups like this, it sometimes indicates that there's some sort of alcoholism or alcohol abuse happening. So there could be something that you don't know that has to do with that. <clears throat> Maybe alcoholism or something runs in the, in the family, but for the most part, this is walking away because you're choosing your happiness and your fulfillment. Um, and you have a lot of people around you to support you. Okay, Cancer. Um, tell me why the hanged man is here, though. Why is the hanged man here? Um, probably about work, you know, get it. We're using your wisdom, trying to see a different perspective, maybe about relationships, about money, about stability. Uh, but maybe trying to see you, what you're investing in, in a different way, like with people. Okay. Uh, what you put into relationships, this may put you into a state that makes you look at who you've been in a relationship to cancer. It's not just always about the other person. So either you are the one who's been going back and forth about, uh, walking away. Maybe you haven't been honest with somebody and there might've been some cheating involved here or somebody playing the field and not, you know, 
letting one hand know what the other one's doing uh, and and walking away from you because they know it's the right thing to do or it's the other way around. You're walking away from somebody because you you know, you know intuitively it's the best thing for you to do even if they haven't admitted to this, okay? It's you taking care of yourself, you investing in yourself, you, in, you knowing that it's time for you to uh, see the value in yourself, okay? Um, there is this regret though. It hurts. It's crying over spilled milk, but it's okay. You still got two cups, sir or madam. Why is the five here? Why is the five of cups here? Yeah, it's it's sadness um, over moving forward. It's sadness. You're moving away from something. You're going towards something else. Let me tell you this. Don't feel selfish. <laughs> it's not selfish to think of yourself, especially as somebody's doing something behind your back. Okay, yeah, sure. We can feel amazing with people and uh, they can try to show us that they're amazing people. And at the same time, they could be complete you know, shitheads when <laughs> we're not looking, okay? Don't feel bad about moving forward. Don't feel mad about moving forward. There is something coming your way. Woman holding the heart, remember? Possible new relationship. So that's what I got for you guys so far. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, I'm going to go with Psychic Tarot of the of um, I'm just going to go with regular Psychic Tarot. I was going to do the heart, but I want to see if there's any other energy here. Something that you guys need to know. Okay, Cancer. Overall, this is a very good reading. And like I said in the beginning, you guys already had this walking away energy. Okay. Uh, and I feel now that this garden, this is about opening the door and setting yourself free. Both of these are the walking away uh, the garden and the gate, allowing other blessings to come through, okay? And the woman holding the heart, that's a new opportunity for a new connection, okay? Uh, I mean, it's natural to feel bad. Um, this person might feel really bad about letting go of the connection or moving forward, and that could be you, right? Are there any other messages here for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Crosswalker, please? Any other messages Cancer needs to know regarding the spread, May 15th through the 30th? Material harvest. That's really good, guys. There's some really nice material uh, things coming your way, okay? Um, and, and that's also this card. You know, investing, planting, right? Harvesting in the future. You guys have two base chakra cards, so some of you could be feeling a little bit of insecurity. It could also be some uh, financial insecurity. Um, so you have the material harvest. So whatever you've planted in the past is coming to fruition now, okay? And uh, the garden and the gate talked about that opening that door so that it can you can get out and it can come in, all right? Again, the base chakra energy. That's what this red card is. It represents that base chakra. So maybe feeling uh, some insecurity when it comes to money. Um, maybe not feeling safe. I don't know if maybe you're in a situation where somebody made you feel unsafe. But, uh, you know, please make sure you take the, the steps you need to take if that's a situation for any of you. All right. If we're looking at this from a financial standpoint... Um, some of you have been maybe going back and forth about how to manifest abundance, okay? Um, w w what do you invest in? What do you do? Um, it's very tricky. It's very, um, there's a lot of misinformation there. You've been going back and forth about, um, you know, what to, w what to do, basically. Uh, maybe even in your thoughts a little bit about um being tricked with your money okay so some of you are really protecting it uh watching out for it some of you might have invested in something like some sort of um company that's sort of starting up or or like rebirthing like a reopening re something something 
um, something that could, if this is interesting, something that has to do with liquids, water, uh, spiritual stuff too. Okay. Um, and we're seeing here in this, in this coming energy, um, you know, happiness, financial success, but there's something here that maybe you didn't know that this was going to be such a, a burdensome task for you to take on, but it's, but it's been worth it because there's this, you know, emotional, um, fulfillment and celebration. It's like celebrating the success of this thing. Um, and this, again, this harvest of money, like money coming through that you didn't really expect. Okay. Um, and you contemplating how you're going to be using this money. There is some, uh, vibe about like how to move forward. Uh, maybe somebody's feeling some regret over this whole situation. Like maybe you're seeing a material harvest for somebody else who, uh, jumped in on a business or invested in something that you didn't invest in. So you have some regret about that. Okay. I don't know. It, it feels a little bit like that. So I have those two energies here, just FYI. Um, and I don't, it's weird because I have a bunch of coins here, but then the rest is kind of a lot of emotional stuff. So that's why I feel more it's a relationship, but okay, guys. Oh, thank you so much for being here. And if you like this video, please go ahead and like this video. And if you really like it, then please go ahead and subscribe guys. I truly appreciate you hanging out. I am very, um, like I said before, not feeling too well. I don't know if it's allergies or if it's the wind since I've been walking or what's going on, but my energy is really kind of low. Um, but thank you, cancer. You guys gave me some vibes. So I truly, truly appreciate that from you guys a lot. All right. So guys, uh, this is your reading till the end of May. We will be seeing you in June until then make sure you wash your hands, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye.